It's one thing we've learned this year. It's the generosity of others can go a long way. And for a local woman whose life unexpectedly changed, it's a gift that couldn't come at a better time. Jade Cunningham explains. He had his hands up. Uh, it appears he may have been begging. The senseless you know. murder of 30 year old Abdel Ghadir Silla shocked a community. Right before the holidays, tragic. It was just evil. Silla was shot and killed after two men came into the gas station where he worked demanding money. He was shot in the chest by one of them before the two ran off. Silla's one year old daughter and pregnant wife, Devana, are now left picking up the pieces. It's just heartbreaking that somebody could just take someone's life like that and it just affects so many people. Like they don't realize the domino effect it has. Beth Wood is a complete stranger. Still, she felt she had to find some way to help. The goal is to make sure she has everything she needs for the baby and her children so she doesn't have to worry about that part of it. She already lost her husband, the baby's father. Like she deserves to be stress free in that area. Beth posted to a mom's group on Facebook suggesting they show support. It didn't take long for people to jump on board. I just posted that I found her registry and I verified it was from her and that I think we should all get together and just buy most of the items off her registry. I just wanted her to know that regardless of what she was going through, like there was a whole community and a whole bunch of moms that we're ready and are ready to support her. It may not be much, but there's hope it'll provide comfort to a grieving wife and mother, someone who they say deserves a little light in the midst of this horrible situation. Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. And Kenner police are still asking anyone with information about this case to reach out to their department or call Crime Stoppers.